coral bleaching is just coral going white. But going white under, underlies a tremendously complex series of reactions. Because the corals can only live in very narrow temperature ranges, when the temperature gets very low or very high, particularly high at the moment with global warming, what happens is that the coral animals then expel algal cells, expel the symbiotic plant cells. So they lose their pigmentation and they become, instead of those lovely colors that we all know, they become completely white. Now, because they, they're white doesn't necessarily mean that they're dead. You can get coral recovery, but I'm afraid that doesn't happen all that often. And even corals that do recover, that do get some, some of their algal cells back, are stressed. Corals are animals, they get stressed like we do, and it's that stress that allows them, unfortunately, to become prey to, to fungi, to bacteria, to viruses, just as we do. And it's very likely that they will die in the medium to long term. Coral reefs are the most exciting uh, most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet on the same level as the tropical rainforests, and indeed they've often been called the rainforests of the sea. Without the corals, you wouldn't have the ecosystem at all. It's the corals themselves that actually allow the fish to shelter there, to shelter from, uh, from uh, predators, allow their, their young ones to grow up safely, allow the invertebrates to, to, uh, to live there. A whole host, all the, all the animals that live on, on coral reefs are solely there because of the corals, these hard corals. If you get rid of the corals, I'm afraid the ecosystem just collapses.